happy whatever day you are watching this on. Today it is a kind of vlogging and a kind of a few content day so I am going to record a hair video. I tried to do it last week and it was a complete fail. Like I wore a black shirt, not that that was the biggest deal, but there was hair all over my back. Um, the hairstyle just looked horrible. It was just like, a, it was really disappointing because I took a decent amount of time to do it and then it was just fail city. So that stunk. Um, but you, you, you live and you learn and you try again. And of course, whenever I do this hairstyle, uh, it always comes out fine the first time when like I'm not seeing anyone I know like let's just say I like do it for the gym it comes out fine and then you know of course I film it and it's a complete disaster so gonna work on that and then I'm gonna keep continuing to do these filter picks my outfit for the 30 days even though TikTok hates me and um, they're just not doing it very good but neither are any of my other videos so it's not really saying much so it's so frustrating. I can't. Certain people are just pushed out, which I did find out, which is kind of crazy. TikTok admitted that there is a heat button and employees can like kind of boost posts on who they want to see, like get views and traction. So that is shitty for the people who are obviously not getting pushed, but congrats to the people who are, because that's sick for you. If anything, I just want my followers to be able to see my videos and they're not even seeing it. And I just think that's a common thing on multiple platforms. I started in, yeah, my Instagram mainly in like 2016. So I've been trying to grow it that whole time and Instagram is doing it the same. They're not really showing my stuff that much either anymore, especially my photos. And I take a lot of time out to do them. So now it's just discouraging and I don't even want to like shoot or anything like that. Trying to just kind of um, not let it get to me and just keep on keeping on. That's the story. That's my little rant of the day. Cause I was in a pretty bad mood this morning, but went to the gym and now I feel good. On a positive note, I'm trying to think. Um, this week I signed with my agency, my new agency. So we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty excited. It's definitely going to be a change that's for sure and i hope one for the better but no risks no reward and i haven't made many changes as far as my business in a while so i'm excited to just kind of you know try something new get more help because i do everything by myself so that's that's exciting i jabbered enough right now um i will catch up in a little bit after i get ready um i want to listen to my podcast which so far my favorite ones which I just got into it this year and I don't know how I got into it. I mean, I've always loved like true crime shows, but uh, I never really got into the podcast side of it until I followed um, certain TikTok accounts um, where I just got really invested in their stories. And I'm like, you know what, let me just listen to the podcast. Why not? And I was like, is it weird to like be at the gym and like listening to like a horrifying podcast? Surprisingly, I've been finding it therapeutic. I it makes me feel oddly safer because I hear the stories and I'm like, you know what? I know what, what to look out for. And I just find them really interesting. And I saw this TikTok and a girl commented under it and said, the reason why so many girls are obsessed with true crime and like murder podcasts is because they're trying to like, kind of giving us like what to look out for and signs of like, you know, anything bad that could be red flags that you might not have picked up on prior to listening to certain stories. So I don't know, I find it interesting, but my favorite right now is Murder With My Husband and I am so obsessed with it, it's so good. Comment below if you have any that you love because I am trying to find newer ones because I will be finished with basically all of Murder With My Husband because that's how much I've been binging them. I have been listening to Crime Junkie and I don't really love when they're unsolved. So a lot of the few I've been listening to are all unsolved and I kind of really like that. And then uh, also My Favorite Murder, which I just feel like they chat a lot on the side and I don't really like that. So if you have any suggestions, I am still trying them out and I'm gonna give them more chances. But if you have any that you love, just comment below. So anyway, I'm gonna go listen to one right now while I finish up getting ready. 
So I just got in a bunch of staples from Dynamite. So I just want to do a quick little try on haul for you guys. So this is the first one. This is old Dynamite, which makes me so sad because I'm obsessed with that. Absolutely love this color. Like, I feel like it goes with so many outfits, but it's like not black. It's not like olive or green or gray. It's kind of like its own little color. So I think this looks so cute. So anyway, I got this in a size uh, medium. So if I'm reading the tag correctly, I have a look from the back. This is the Kyla bodysuit and in the color Urban Chic. So I think they have a few pieces in that Urban Chic color. Love this. And the quality is really nice as well. And then I got this turtleneck sweater and this is also in the same color as this. So this is also Urban Chic. And um, I got this in a size large because I do like when it's a bit oversized. I could have also gotten a medium though, um, but still really, really cute. And then I also got that same turtleneck in black and I needed a good turtleneck like this. And again, I got this one in a large, could have sized down. And now I'm kind of like thinking, should I swap it? I don't know. I still think it looks really cute. And then I got this sweater, which I really love this. Um, it's got like more of a, I don't know what this knitted fabric would be. So it's got that nice stretch, but it comes back together. I got this sweater in a medium and I love the way this fits. I don't think I would go smaller or bigger, but I definitely do need a bra with this. Okay, excuse the tripod. Sorry about this angling. Um, look at how big this is. And like I said, normally I'm kind of like a solid eight, but these are huge. And if they fit nicely, I'm gonna size down two sizes. And they're obviously really wrinkled now, but when they're not, I think these will look so good on. I'll show a photo of what like they actually look like on the model. Um, but I love them, the quality is so good. So I'll come back when I have them all properly fitted because I also have them in um, this navy color. I'm gonna have to replace these. Gosh, just like my Abercrombie, I can't seem to get my navy pants yet soon. Once I, once I go to the mall, I'm gonna switch it all. Okay, obviously not how I would really wear it, but I'll probably put like a nice tank top underneath. But I got this like oversized cardigan. And really quickly, Dynamite actually just opened up a like their first store in New Jersey. I'm actually going to visit next week. Um, so just an FYI, if you live in Jersey, everyone's like, I wish like the stores I shopped at online were in actual like shopping malls and Dynamite is one of my favorites and they are. So I'll put the address below and yeah, you guys can shop away there. If you're in the Jersey area like I am. So I'm really excited about it. But I got this in a medium. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty oversized. And all pieces that I'm wearing here, I will be linking below for you guys. She is a beauty, she is grace. They actually, it looks really good today. Um, this is a, that lemon, like vinaigrette, and it's so bomb. And then I just got a coffee, because I haven't had any today, and it's like 3.30. All right, so now just going to eat some lunch and catch up on some emails. Um, and then I'm just gonna film one little alpha video. This, the, it gets so dark and my phone is so old and it just cannot pick up on, like, it just gets really grainy when it's this dark. So I need to really hustle, but I'm also starving because it is 3.30 and yeah, I had like only just two eggs for breakfast. So I'm gonna scarf this down. Um, and then after that, going to shower, I just did this little braided bun. So I love just doing little quick hair tutorials that are super easy for you guys to do because who always has the time to like do a 20 minute hairstyle every day? Not me. Okay, and I also just popped my knee out of like the socket and then I stood up and I'm still popped out and I had to pop it in. And now it hurts so bad. I have, I think I did that once when I was a kid, but but anyway, tonight, yeah, after I shower, I'm going to edit the videos I filmed today, um, do emails, uh, list some things on Poshmark, edit photos, because we shot um, some yesterday with Dan, and then I just need to kind of plan my feed on Instagram for like the next few days. Also, I don't know if you guys watch uh, The Last of Us. It's kind of like a zombie apocalypse kind of movie, so not really like something I would typically watch, um, but, 
it's really good and the episode three though just happened and everyone's talking about it you've maybe seen it on tiktok uh it is literally a work of art but also so sad and beautiful at the same time i was trying not to cry because i i just like try my hardest not to cry at like shows with tan i don't know why like let it go i i just will have the golf ball in my throat the whole time um and oh my gosh just watch it so i won't keep going on and on but like there's a reason everyone like critics and everyone were saying like this episode and it's, it's like an hour and 10 minutes so it's like kind of a movie so i don't know but watch it it's oh my gosh so sad and beautiful at the same time i was not expecting that i needed a warning but anyway i'm gonna eat this and then get on with the day so see you guys in a bit hi guys thought i'd do like a little bit of a nighttime routine um it was obviously hair wash day and i'm gonna be honest i know there's like everyone doing the scalp treatments and all that stuff i only do that once in a while so i do wash my hair frequently so i will wash it like every max i only wait like three days i can't stand it when i'm doing like a bunch of hairstyles all the time um i just can't stand when it feels gross like sleeping i don't know i just i just can't stand it like i always have to have clean hair and also when i style my hair it actually styles better with clean hair and it curls better and takes like my like rollers better so when it's dirty it just doesn't really work as well so i'm just using olaplex number six right now in my hair and then for my skin the products i'll show you today are ones that i have been using non-stop elemis is definitely one of my favorite brands i bring that up all the time um and i really love fresh but i haven't gotten any of their stuff as often as I used to, but I'm using the Fresh Black Tea uh, Eye Serum and I love this stuff so much. Well, this is what I've been using under my eyes and right here. And then for my serum, I love this um, Caudalie. I think that's how you say it. I, I really don't know. Um, I've been using this serum and then for my moisturizer, this reminds me of Florida. No, yeah, kind of. Gives like herbal, like, I don't know, kind of key lime pie vibes. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy how scent can just like transport you somewhere. And then my moisturizer, this is my favorite. It's pretty expensive, but I love it so much. Um, the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I love everything about Elemis. It's using this cream. Then I'll use the Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. So yeah, that's kind of just the usual skincare. So normally it's just three steps, my eye cream, my serum, and my moisturizer. But if I'm feeling fancy, I will sometimes add in the oil. These are my prescription glasses from years ago. I just got them fixed and they're also blue light blockers. So now that they're fixed, I love wearing them because first of all, I see so much better. And second of all, it's better for my eyes. But I did also want to say that I am not always one to like obsess over, you know, all the products that everyone has, but way, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm pretty sure way products are absolutely fire. This lotion smells so good and just the way it goes on is is just everything about it like in love i'm also using this um anti-dandruff shampoo which i don't think i have dandruff but um the brand actually sent it to me and whenever i use this my scalp feels so clean like 10 out of 10 love this um and also the body wash as you can see i have ran this into the ground like i'm running out and their products just smell like perfumes and yeah highly recommend if you haven't tried it also lasts a while so a little bit of this lotion goes a long way which it kind of justifies it a little bit more so if you are wanting to get it you're like oh well it, a lot goes a long way that's kind of like olaplex as well like i don't have to use that much and i've had mine for quite a bit of time so 
yeah just wanted to throw that out while i was putting on the lotion and i thought i would share i am going to listen to a podcast while i edit some videos this video actually because <laughs> i'm behind and i should have been editing it throughout the week but i didn't and then we're gonna make some dinner so see you in a bit okay and one more thing i wanted to show you is this new thing i just got it's called the octo buddy and it's so good so you guys were just sticking against my mirror here and you could just stick it anywhere you want any mirror um it works on like like tiles and stuff like that as well so your door you could you know like window in your car if you're filming something it works like everywhere so i just want to throw that out there because if you're making content the outro buddy the octo buddy is where it's at Thank you.